hello my dear friend uh, pre, uh, my dear friends i am going to speak in my english it is also for all malayalis especially those who are keralites who are bereaving the death of our beloved uh, cinema humorous actor mr vincent from irinyalakuda is maybe the time for the his funeral time maybe in india i'm talking from canada i just want to share some thoughts first i don't know personally how he was practicing his faith everything is joke for him so even those things i heard when he recovered from cancer uh, he was make joke and told his wife alice maybe god does not want me now years ago that he did not call me god calls those who are loving uh, close to him that is not a very general understanding or experience of the church or my life period there are people who lived for long life but they never pray to god even so it does not depend god has his own ideas and no human philosopher can fathom into the mind of god so that's the first thing i want to tell so anyway we pray for him and pray for all the people who are dying especially christian uh, catholics receive the sacrament of the anointing and make a good confession before we get into more uh, agony or dying and that's very important and even those who don't have faith i in my ministry and my experience i found when the family people pray the divine mercy prayers and karuna konda divine mercy chaplet near that person he may turn to god and jesus promised i will be between him or her and with my father not as a judge but as a perceptor redeemer you can see in my prayer house here the divine mercy picture here put the divine mercy picture in every home every family where somebody is sick or dying god will give blessing and peace now we don't want to judge anybody now we pray for innocent i hope he was innocent man as he make lot of jokes and uh, yes so we wish him all the best i mean uh, not best now or i saw the funeral people almost everybody all the film world is in his uh, kadavandara uh, exposition and also here in uh, irinyalakuda and maybe some thousands will be there in sendomas kathiral irinyalakuda second thought i want to share of course we had to grieve for our dear ones who died our friends our own parents husband wives our daddy mummy brother sister whoever and that is very very natural the book of Pro- uh, sirach or prabhashagan 38 and 41 in even the old testament god revealed people had to grieve for their dear ones which is natural if they cannot grieve about anybody who died there's some something wrong with the family members they are angry they are hateful people in some families we know that even when daddy or mummy dies some of the sons or daughters or daughter in law they are angry happy they don't cry because they got hatred in their mind and that is a very bad sin they don't understand that one anyway normally we grieve the people so that is the natural but there are other things which i want to tell you which i shared in many places many times you know people put lot of wreath and pay respect will those things or any other words of eulogy or uh, what you call sandeshangal will help that person who died already i think it will not once you are dead there is only dead physical flesh there body there his spirit or soul for according to our faith christian faith is already 
before the Lord's judgment seat. That's called Tanadiviti, particular judgment. It happens at the time of death. So before the death, we have a lot of time to get forgiveness. Repent, confess before when you get sick and get reconciled with God. That's the first condition to get into a good judgment from God. Human judges, Supreme Court, Indian uh, Magistrate Court in uh, Delhi or Gujarat made long decision. They can go wrong or right. They do according to their judgment. But God's judgment, nobody can question, no appeal. And that's a final appeal. Until he, our death, we got the right to beg pardon, ask forgiveness. That will be done. Now, for other people, those things, we put the read, which I found something is very annoying. I told sometime in my own family member when he died. I thought, why should he put all these things? There's nothing. After the funeral, put in the, uh, the uh, tomb, all these things will be destroyed. Why can't the people offer this, uh, what do you call, um, wreath and or expensive thing and put one simple flower from their own garden? Save that money for those who are really need my, uh, help in the sickness, in their treatment. Or otherwise with the home, homelessness. Just now I talking to one person in my own village in India. He got a ter, ter, what you call terpice sheet. He's afraid when the air, uh, rain comes, it will flown away. So I could not do anything right now there. But I said there are people who are homeless, living in start. Give that money for them. When we do that kind of charity by public people, or Christian people, friends or neighbors or families or association, that will be the best way to help the departed person. It may help as an almsgiving, as an act of mercy and charity, that will help them. No flower, no what you call wreath will help anybody. Now for an innocent, as I said, I don't know personally him, but I enjoy his movies, his jokes, and I to imitate Mimicry sometimes with the innocent language, our ritual language. Uh, so, but now there is no humor. It's a very serious. Once you are dead, it's an eternity. Nobody can save him except God. Even God cannot save him until if he is not repented. So that scares me. So that's what I urge anybody, everybody, to pray for those who are lost faith in God or those who live in sin to repent and reconcile and for Catholics to make a confession before death so that he may get into at least a mitigated judgment from God. At least they will be in purgatory. And most often I used to tell, none of us will go straight to heaven. Some of the theologians, some of the preachers and written uh, gospel preachers may disagree with me. Who can justify how only the book of Revelation and many parts of the scripture said only the pure and just will be in heaven? Are we pure? Are we holy and perfect? So to enter into kingdom of heaven. If we are not, then we will be purified by uh, temporary punishment even after death in purgatory. I, will, I have spoken several times in YouTube about purgatory in early time. Today I'm not going to talk about that now. So let all the family members, all good people who believe in God, pray to God with holy mass, almsgiving, fasting, prayer, and abstinence for the departed people. That alone and do act of charity that alone can say, help in any way our departed beloved ones. Thank you for listening to me. This is Father Nicholas, Divine Mercy Healing Ministries in Canada.